Hey, what's up, guys? Bruce Lee Aesthetics checking in. I got another G for P, I mean, uh, Physique Progress video for you. As always, feel free to share any constructive criticism, especially any concerning my horrible posing. So, I think I've actually made very little to no progress at all with my physique, but I filmed this the same week I had my powerlifting meet because I want you to document what I am able to do at this particular body fat level and at this particular body weight. And speaking of body weight, I'm not going to actually say what my body weight is because that's one of the questions that I have for my reverse Q&A, which I will link in the corner. Check it out and answer the questions if you can. And also don't forget to leave a question. There's a chance you can win an Amazon gift card if you do either one of those things. Getting back to this video, after my previous powerlifting meet in November, I thought to myself that I really needed to gain some weight. Then I ended up competing at the same weight class in February and all my numbers went up. So I kind of surprised myself there. But now, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with that adding in calories now that I don't have to worry about making any weight classes, and hopefully I'll be adding on some more muscle mass and therefore weight. But that's more of a side goal. I basically see bodybuilding or my aesthetic goals simply as a side effect from training intensely and being aware of my nutrition. And I like to say being aware of my nutrition rather than eating healthy because eating healthy is a really vague general idea. In my opinion, it's a concept that I believe confuses many people and can easily lead them to believing in and doing some potentially harmful stuff. So I have a little bit of time left and I want to talk about my philosophy on tracking macros. First of all, I think people can easily go overboard with it and get obsessed and developing eating disorder just as easily as with any other method of dieting. If you are at a weight that you're happy with and your weight isn't fluctuating too heavily, then I don't think you need to track calories and you especially don't need to track your macros. Um, but compare tracking or being aware of your calories to keeping track of your finances. Someone with a very specific financial goal needs to be aware of where all their money is going. And that's comparable to someone with a very specific weight or training goal. For example, a bodybuilder. Or maybe you just want to optimize your finances or nutrition. In those cases, I think keeping track of things is a very useful tool. Now let's look at a different scenario. Someone who is bad with their money is most likely overspending their money the same way that someone who is overweight is overspending their calories. I found this to be true with both types of people. They either spend large amounts of money or calories at one time, or more often they spend little amounts here and there and then it adds up over time. So I think it's important that they become aware of where their money or their calories are going and develop a habit where they use it on the important stuff first. Talking in term of, terms of money, stuff like rent, bills, etc. Talking in terms of nutrition, stuff like vitamins, minerals, fiber, etc. And if they budget it out, they can't have room for fun stuff. So in money terms, stuff like entertainment, going out, movies, gifts, etc. And in nutritional terms, ice cream, candy, fast food, stuff that a lot of people enjoy but usually uh, avoid because they, they're considered unhealthy. Um, I think by denying ourselves ourselves these things, we actually, uh, we maybe be on top of our game financially or nutritionally, but then we deprive ourselves mentally. And the goal is to satisfy all of our needs, both mental and physical, in a sane, realistic way. I don't think you need to be black and white about it and go one way or the other. In the end, it's all about balance. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.